Hello my beautiful people and happy Saturday. This is going to be a weekend challenge vlog. So this is something a little bit different for myself. I want to challenge myself to read a certain amount of pages over the weekend and basically vlog my experience. Usually there's a weekly vlog but this week there's just been so much going on that there just wasn't enough content for a weekly vlog and I missed so many days. I think I only filmed Monday, Tuesday. Um, so there was no real point of going Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. So I thought, you know what? Scrap that. Let's do a weekend vlog. So there is quite a bit of reading that I want to do this weekend. Daniel and I are reading The Shining in June. So we have sectioned it all out into three sections and it works out about 125 pages each. Daniel's done it like 125 pages to like the page, whereas I've done it to the chapter because I just cannot stop like mid chapter. So this, what we're doing is we're doing a section a week. So we're gonna read this throughout the whole month of June. So I've got to get up to page 125 by like Wednesday or whatever day the first was, Thursday? I can't remember. But yeah, so I've got this chunk to do. So that's, it works out 126 pages. And then I am on the third Magnolia Park still. I've made good progress though. I'm on page 180 and it's a very quick read and I think I could definitely get it finished. But the challenge that I want to set myself for Saturday and Sunday is I want to read a total of 500 pages and I want to see if I can physically read 500 pages and I don't mean like manga or anime or anything like that or comic books I mean purely books so this in itself I've maybe got about 300 pages left and then I've got 125 pages here so that is 400 and something pages so far and then I also want to start the last in the Magnolia Park series. So potentially I would like to read my pages for The Shining, which you can't see because it's so light in here. So read the pages for The Shining, finish this in its entirety uh, from page 180 and also start and complete Daisy Hates, the fourth one in this series. So this sounds really ambitious. I don't have a lot of plans for this weekend. I am just kind of resting because there's quite a lot of stuff going on. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to take you on this adventure with me and let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Welcome to this weekend's weekend challenge. Hello my beautiful people. Some time has passed. I have done some reading but this is post nap look that I've got going on here. It's ten past six and I have read about 90 something pages so far of um magnolia parks my neighbor is currently cutting the grass so excuse that noise but yeah so i will update you properly on what my page total is at the end of the day but yes daniel is home um he was out working today and i'm treating us to a chipper tonight there's a place called mike's chipper um well mike's famous fish and chips and it's been around in Aberdeen for years and years and years and I did not know that they delivered so I don't know if it's like a recent thing on Uber Eats or what but Daniel's never had one he's drove past it a couple of times and he's been like it's always really busy so he's never tried it um so we have ordered that and that is currently being prepared it should be here between 6 20 and 6 40 so I'm very excited about that because I'm absolutely starving all I've had is breakfast today <laughs> um so I'm just waiting for that so we're gonna eat that Daniel's currently watching football and then after we've eaten that I'm gonna do a little bit more reading uh, after my nap I kind of just lay in bed for a while and caught up with Becca and the books vlog because she was in New York and I love watching people's vlogs in New York and things because it's a place that I'm probably just never gonna go because the flight is really long and America just scares me so um I like living vicariously through other people when it comes to American vlo American vlogs. But yes, that is my plan for this evening. Tomorrow I really fancy going out down to the beach. 
um, because it's been really nice weather and there's a lot of nice little places on the beachfront um, for having breakfast and things so I'm going to see if Daniel's up for going for breakfast tomorrow and at the beach we can play Pokemon Go as well um, because that's what we do um, and then I really want to go to charity shops tomorrow I don't know why I have like this drive that I really want to go and do that but I want to go do that and pick up a few books or just see what there is I mean I don't need more books but I'm I'm feeling it that's what I want to do and because I'm off on holiday on Monday as well I feel like even if I have a busy day tomorrow Monday I can have as a chill day and I mean today was pretty chill I've pretty much been horizontal for most of the afternoon but yeah I feel like we should go out and do something and actually enjoy this weather and the good thing about the beach is it'll be busy and there's probably going to be a lot of people there but you're outside and it's not as bad so I'm gonna make that suggestion and see but he might want a long lie tomorrow we're just gonna have to wait and see because he's had a really busy week because there's been a lot going on so I'm just gonna have to wait and see what his thoughts are but I'm gonna go now and I can't wait for my food because I'm so hungry <laughs> Hello, quick update because it's 20 past nine and Daniel and I are awake to go watch a film. I think we're actually going to watch Bridget Jones and just wanted to update you and say that that's me finished reading for the day and I've read 142 pages. So tomorrow I have the task of reading 358 pages. So let's see if I'm going to be able to do that. I really want to finish Magnolia Parks tomorrow. So if I do that and read my pages of The Shining, I should get to my goal and I should complete this challenge which is quite exciting but yeah we'll just have to wait and see how it goes tomorrow. Hello my beautiful people and happy Sunday. It's 25 past 7 and I'm just making some lapsang loose leaf tea and then I'm going to feed the boys, deep clean the dishwasher. I've got baking, is it baking soda? No bicarbonate of soda in the dishwasher so I basically just sprinkle that all over the dishwasher and then put it on for a really deep heat and then it makes your dishwasher all shiny and clean. So today I have got 358 pages to read with my 500 page challenge for this weekend. I managed 142 yesterday, so I want to go and knock out at least 60 pages before Daniel gets up. We, I think, are gonna go to the beach. It doesn't look like the nicest weather outside, but it's not, it's it's dry, it's not wet, so we can still technically, technically go. So I think we're gonna go do that, and we are gonna play Pokemon Go and have a coffee and do a breakfast roll eggs and just get outside and get some exercise because I'm just rubbish at that so need to get better at that and I still need to have a shower and stuff as well so I'm away to have my cup of tea read for like half an hour wait for Daniel to get up and then I am going to start to get ready I need to wash my hair today but seeing as I'm off tomorrow I'm thinking that I might do my roots today, like later on, so I'm just going to put dry shampoo in it and then wash it after I've dyed it, but we'll just have to wait and see. I also did get like this stuff, which is like a head candy lilac haze, it's like a semi-permanent hair colour cream, it fades within 2-10 to 10 washes and I thought it would be fun, but if we all remember what happened the last time I tried to dye my hair, it literally lasted for like all of 5 minutes and then it washed out. And that was permanent hair dye. So <laughs> we're just gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, I'll be dyeing my hair like an ash blonde kind of colour because my roots are just so big just now. And then I thought about putting this on the top. It should tone it, if anything, <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna come out by look. But we'll just have to wait and see. But yes, I'm going to get the boys fed, get this dishwasher on to deep clean it, get some weeding done, and then get out of the house. Hi! Are you not gonna continue? No, I just say hi, and hey. then you take over. Okay, what are we away to do? We are at the beach, mm -hmm. next to Kadona's, where we first met. Yep, we had our first date here. Mm -hmm. But we will save that for our anniversary. Yep. So we're going to go to a little cafe somewhere, mm -hmm. whatever we're choosing. 
and get some of these breakfast. Yeah, because I'm and starving. Yeah, I'm really hungry. Then go for a little stroll. Maybe hold hands, Ew. if you let me. Mm. And then see where the day takes us. Yeah. And I want to buy a light in the range. Like oh, a yeah. cool neon light. So I think yeah. we're going to do that today. What does it say? Uh, let's stay home. Yeah. Yeah. Let's cause... stay at home today. Yeah, I know. Um, so we're going to go and do that. And we're probably going to play Pokemon Go as mm -hmm. well. Because the season's changed. And I got all these cool Pokemon that I don't have yet. Which is pretty awesome for me. But I already got them all. Yeah, I know. So it's not as fun for you. But it is for me. But I got Shamies yesterday. I didn't because I wasn't working and I was reading. Yep. And I also need to complete this reading challenge. And I think I've done mm, 40, 50 pages today, mm -hmm. which means I'm at about 190 or just under 200 pages. And that means I've still got like 300 to go. Yeah, it's a lot. But I can do this. I can do this. Quite uh, a time today. Did you finish the road yesterday? I did indeed. What were your thoughts and Completely feelings? Completely indeed. Um, it was good. It was another basic yeah. read. What do you mean? I would say. It was another basic read. Um, not too complex, quite a straightforward story about a, a dad and his son out in the travels of a post apocalyptic world that don't do so well. Um, I won't ruin it for anyone who hasn't read it for what happens, but quite a basic storyline, but hits home. And has no chapters? Has no chapters. Zero chapters. So, so you weird. don't know where you're at. You just keep reading. Like, how do you know when to stop, though? Like, I have to stop, like, after a chapter, but, like, how do you stop if there's just none? I would throw that book in the bin. I'd be like, nope, can't do it. Well, they're travelling one route, one place to get to somewhere else, and then all this stuff that happens in between. So you just need to remember where they are when you pick it back up. Yeah, are they on a beach? Are they in the woods? Are they on the road? But I would just have to devour <laughs> the whole book, because I'd be like, I can't not... Yeah, I can't stop. Can't stop. I've got to keep going. <laughs> you just need to find a full stop at the end of a page, and then you can stop. Nope, I can't and then live you just like that. But that's not too bad. And then what are we on to next? As our collaborated read, we're reading The Shining, which I've spoken to them about already because yeah. that'll help in my 500 page challenge over Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, that will do indeed. Yep. And I'll get about 50 pages of that done today. Perfect, though. It is only. 10.29 so it's still early and we still have lots of the day left so let's go and get some food because I'm starving. Sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. I am just putting my shoes back on. Daniel and I came for breakfast. Did you enjoy your breakfast, Daniel? I did indeed. What? Did you just? Yes, I enjoyed my breakfast too. And then we went and we bought a new light that I'd been staring at for ages from the range. And Daniel's not sure on it, and I want to try and convince him that it's awesome. So Daniel's going to put that up later on. But because it is semi nice weather, we are away out to plant some seeds and to fix the bit out in the back where Bowie is so we are going to go do that now and Daniel's going to hopefully maybe trim the grass I like how it got really dark as I started talking about that yeah, um so yeah okay. we're gonna go do that just now and I might do a couple of time lapses of us doing some gardening
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hello, my beautiful people. Happy Sunday evening. Did I do my 500 page reading challenge? No, I didn't. Did I read 200 pages? Yes, I did. Does that mean I'm 200 pages short? Yes, it does. But we had a really productive day today and I just did not get as much reading done as I planned. So next week, I'm going to focus on my pages. I've still had a pretty good reading week, to be fair. Um, but next week I'm going to finish the third in the Magnolia Park series. I'm going to start The Shining because I'm going to fall behind if I don't start doing that. But Daniel and I got a lot of the garden stuff done. We did food shopping. We went out for breakfast for a little date morning, which was really nice. So all is not lost. So all is good. But there has been other outside things going on um, privately that we've been had going on in the background. So that has kind of changed some things as well for the plan of the weekend so yes but I hope you guys have enjoyed this random weekend vlog hopefully next week there will be a full vlog but we will just have to wait and see how it pans out I am off tomorrow and Daniel and I really aren't planning on doing a lot tomorrow because he's off on a Monday so I am hoping to get a lot of reading done and just kind of chill we kind of got the majority of stuff done today just so we didn't have to really venture out into the world yesterday daniel got the grass trimmed which is amazing because i'm one of those people that been on my street like i live in a cul-de-sac and everybody has their grass cut and it all looks really nice and my grass has not been cut since last may and it just looked like a jungle outside and now it doesn't now i feel like my neighbors are not going to speak about me which is is pretty cool so yeah i um, just a way to go and take my makeup and everything off. I have not dyed my roots today, which I planned on doing, but that will probably be a tomorrow job. But I think Daniel and I are going to chill for the rest of the evening. We watched the first Bridget Jones movie last night. I think we're going to put on the second one. And we got a new light in the living room. So I'm going to have to show you guys. It's like, a, I'll show you in next week's vlog though, but it's basically like a neon sign that we have above the TV and it just says, let's stay home absolutely amazing it's perfect for us because we just love staying at home but yeah so dad put that up today as well that's really cool i can't wait until it gets really dark so that we can see it in its full full magnificentness <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go because i'm absolutely shattered and um, we're gonna go watch that movie and then i'm basically gonna go to bed it's not meant to be the nicest of weather yet tomorrow so i'm kind of glad in a way that we got all the outside stuff done today. Today I planted some lettuce and some peas. So I will keep you updated on what the progress is in that. I am not green fingered in any way, shape or form. And I'm not even convinced that these are going to grow because I didn't really look up how to do it. I just kind of like put all the soil in and then dug deep enough, I think, that we could plant them. And we also sorted berries but outside. So Daniel leveled off the slabs because the slabs were sinking in a little bit. We had big massive plant pots on top of it that my mum did for me. 
after he passed away with like lots of beautiful flowers which had all died so basically they were just big plant pots that had like mulch and stuff in them and like dead plants and every time I looked at it it just made me sad but now it looks very nice and tidy and has smaller plant pots on it I have got some lavender out there I've got some pink flowers of some description I can't remember what they are we got them at B&Q last weekend and then I've put some poppy seeds like some nice red poppies and some orange candulas so hopefully fingers crossed they will start growing but again I'm not 100% convinced they're going to but I will keep you updated on the progress of that um I have sown them at the correct time so we will just have to wait and see but yes I have been talking way too much but I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I will see you all next time same place I hope you have a good day weekend morning evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is, and I'll see you next time. Bye.